All right, so in the last video, we took a look at Sample One XT. In this video, let's take a look at the other new virtual instrument that was added, which is a new version of Impact. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in from the browser, and you'll see right off the bat that this has a very similar look to Sample One XT. So for example, if we go ahead here and drag in Sample One, we'll just go ahead and close our presets. You can see that they have the same general vibe between these two different instruments. They have the same look. It's also worth mentioning, let's just go ahead here, remove this track and instrument, that we also have the same trick over here. By clicking the different icons over here, we can toggle to different colors. Let's go ahead and leave this on the white over here. Now, first off, let's go ahead and I actually have Studio One version three opened up over here. And here we have the original version of Impact. So right away, you can see we've got some major changes. One major one being that You'll notice here that we only have the one bank of pads over here. So we've got these 16 pads, but quite often when I was using Impact, I ran into the situation where I needed more than 16 pads. So as you'll notice here in version four, in addition to having the main 16 pads over here, we have an additional seven banks. So we can use from A, B, C, and as you'll see over here, as I move up, the pitches are moving up here as well. Now, another thing that I wanna point out is we have some slight differences in terms of the play modes. So back over to version three, you'll notice here our play mode, we essentially had one shot poly, one shot mono, toggle, note on and off, but we really didn't have that many more options. We did have the option to select a choke group and we had the option to set between off or one, two, three, and four. Now in the version four, the play mode, or at least one shot poly and one shot mono have been replaced with this choke section over here. So for example, if this is set to trigger a one shot, we have some choke options. So for example, you can see that we have off, we have self, and then we have 32 different choke groups, which we can assign. So the one shot poly versus one shot mono has been antiquated with Impact XT. Now, the next thing that's pretty cool is we can actually choose a different color for these pads over here. Now, this is something that I often used when I was using battery. We can choose to, for example, let's say have our kicks or something like that. They could be different colors and we could have our snares in a green, et cetera, et cetera. And these just basically give us a nice visual indication of some of the changes that we have. Now, in addition to that, we also have some options here, like for example, reverse, normalize. We've got some nice options for creating loops and dealing with samples. We'll have a look at those in a minute. But this is the main difference over here is our eight different banks, the ability to choose the colors. And we really have some really nice updates here. And one of the big ones, of course, would be the follow tempo mode. Now this becomes especially useful for loops. And that's one thing that you notice here for this trigger is that Impact XT is not just a sample instrument that's designed to work with one shots and drums. It's now a fully functional sampler that works kind of similar to battery in that respect. So if we look at the version three over here, which is pretty much the same one that we've had for a while, it was very hard to do anything with respect to creating loops or having anything that would follow tempo or be seamless in that way whatsoever. So let's go ahead, we're gonna switch back to version four and let's start loading some samples. Now I've gone ahead here and prepared a bunch of different samples. So we'll go ahead here and we'll start dragging these in. First of all, we'll drag in our kick. And the next thing I wanna do, we'll go ahead and we will drag in our snare on C1. And then we've got a clap. We'll go ahead and drag that into C sharp one. And then we've got a hat, we've got an open hat. So let's go ahead, we'll drag the hat into D1 and the open hat we'll drag into D sharp one. And then I also have this loop, and we're gonna come back to that in a moment. But one thing that I wanna look at is, quite often you may find yourself in a situation where your samples might be different in terms of levels. And this especially becomes evident when you start going to the previous and next sample. So for example, if I really wanted to, we could go ahead here and we could normalize all of these files over here. So I could normalize these. Go to this one, and last but not least. Now it's worth mentioning, I would never normalize my hi-hats, but right away we're gonna have to pull this down quite a bit. Let's go back over here. And now we have a consistent level between all of them. 
And this is per pad over here. So let's go back and let's unselect this option to normalize. Some of these samples already have been normalized. It's worth mentioning, but essentially this makes it pretty easy. Now for my hi-hats, very simple for me to choose a choke group. So let's just set both of these hi-hats to choke group one. And then of course, we will have the different pads that are set to the same choke group over here. Now, one other thing I wanna look at right now, let's actually switch to bank B. Let's choose a completely different color, something like a bright orange. I'm gonna take this particular loop over here and let's go ahead, let's drag this in and I'm gonna change this from one shot to loop. Now you'll notice the minute I change it to loop, we have this little status bar, if you will, that shows up. Let's go ahead now and play this. Keep in mind this particular file had some tempo information in the file. And also keep in mind that this was an 85 BPM file. We're sitting at 120. Let's go ahead and trigger this pad. Okay, now let's change our tempo to 85. And we'll play this again. No difference. All right, let's go back to the 120 over here and I'm gonna engage follow tempo. So now let's listen to what's happening here. So you can hear that by triggering this loop and engaging our follow tempo mode, on any file that has tempo information that's been embedded, we're gonna automatically have that follow. So that's a really, really useful feature. And once again, we have this status bar that appears the minute we change a sample or a cell pad from, for example, one shot to loop. Now, if it's in normal or one shot or toggle over here, we're not gonna see that. But like I say, the minute we engage that loop, we see this information. And also, if our files that we're dragging into Impact XT have any tempo information that's been embedded, and this will happen automatically with Studio One, we automatically have a situation where Impact XT and the files within the cell over here will follow accordingly. So for example, if we set this to, let's say we split the difference between 120 and 85, and let's just say we went to 100, we'll go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select this pad. And once again, disengage follow tempo. So very, very cool option because now Impact XT is no longer just a straight drum sampler. We can also work with loops. Let's go back to this main section over here. And I wanna talk about a couple other features that have been improved in my opinion. So for example, we have another option where I can zoom in over here and based upon where I'm dragging my cursor, if you notice, if I zoom in a little bit here, and keep in mind, I can do this simply by using my mouse wheel, I am actually snapping to the zero crossing boundaries. Now, another thing we can do, we can just increase the data zoom resolution if we wanted to see that a little bit better. Kind of hard to see, but let's go ahead and just zoom in as far as we can, and this is as far as we can go over here but we're actually snapping to these zero crossing points so that it makes it very easy in terms of not having any clicks and pops in your samples. We'll go ahead and just drag this back. Now, other than that, we still have everything else that we used to have in Impact, but we have this nice overhaul, this little bit of a facelift, and all these new options that are here as well. Now, another thing that I wanted to point out is in addition to getting this new Impact XT, if we head over to our sound sets over here, you'll notice that we have this new sound set, it's called Impact XT Kits and Sounds. Let's just go ahead and expand this for a moment. I'm not gonna go too deep into this, feel free to do this on your own, but one thing that I wanna make mention of, and this is something that we're gonna cover in this series, is that you'll notice over here we have these music loops that are shipping with this sound set. Let's go ahead and drag this particular one in. And one big change you're gonna see is that we now have a new type of, let's just call it container, that's called a pattern. And patterns work with virtual instruments and they're an extremely powerful new type of way that we can program our content. And the patterns that ship with Impact XT kits and sounds, they just happen to be done extremely well. So I don't really wanna spoil things too much, but let's just go ahead and have a quick listen to this particular pattern over here that was included and shipped with Impact XT. 
And this is based on a new kit that was designed specifically for Impact XT. And this is released by Personas, but it's worth mentioning that this was done by Sample Magic. So we have this awesome sounding kit. If we go to bank B, you'll also see over here that we have all these different loops. And when I click these pads, you can see that these loops are set to follow tempo. Let's go ahead and quickly give a play because I want you to hear how awesome these new sounds are. Really quickly though, I'm just gonna turn down my overall level. I'll bring this down a little bit. And let's actually bring this back to the original BPM of this particular part that we just dragged in, which is 85 BPM. So super really cool sounding kits that they've designed over here. And like I said, I don't wanna spoil things too much, but really quickly, let's just open this up and you'll see we're gonna get into this in a future video. But these are the new patterns sections that we have available within Studio One version four. Like I said, not gonna go any further into that right now. We'll cover that in another video. Let's go ahead here and remove track and instrument. It's also worth mentioning that in addition to these music loops, we have all of these new kits that have been created. We can drag these presets in. And of course, we have some new sounds that we can play with now in Impact XT. So really modern sounding kits. Also worth mentioning that you wanna check out all the different banks because we're no longer limited to just having that one bank of the 16 pads. We can have up to eight different banks and each of those banks can have 16 different pads. So really, really cool new feature in Impact XT. Now, before we go, the last thing I wanna focus on is something that for me as a content creator and somebody who's into sampling, something that I find extremely useful. And that is that we now have a similar option to what we had in Presence XT, which is if you go ahead and you create some content, if I wanted to share this with somebody else, a colleague or a friend, or just wanted to share it in general with the public, in previous versions, we would have to create sound sets in order for other people to be able to use these on different systems. Now, with the new version, Studio 1.4, we have some new options here in terms of how we can save and export our Impact XT presets or patches. So for example, you'll see over here that we have these options to export sampler file. Now let's talk about how this is different from a straight preset. Well, a straight preset, it would be referencing the actual files, the samples that I've used. Keep in mind, I went ahead and I just created this folder over here. I brought in these different samples. These are all the samples that are being used in this particular kit. And then of course our bank B. And if we set it to follow tempo, and we were to change this, we know that it will change. So let's say that I wanted to share this Impact XT patch, the whole entire thing. Well, we can choose this option over here to export a sampler file. Now, when we export a sampler file, essentially all the information, including all the settings of our pads, all of our loop settings and our trigger settings, anything that we've set up here, in addition to the samples, will all be saved in an encapsulated file. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just give this a name. So we'll call this Groove 3 Course, and we'll go Dash Kit. Now the idea here is that it is essentially going to encapsulate and it's gonna add everything that we need. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. So now this has been saved. Now the idea would be that if I wanted to start, uh, for example, a completely new song or I wanted to share that with somebody else, all they would need is access to that one file. So now for example, let's go ahead and let's remove the track and the instrument. And now if I open up a finder window and I navigate to that same area over here, you can see this groove three course kit dot soundex. I could just simply drag this right into my studio one song. And now this actual soundex file is being referenced in my pool and it has all the information it needs in order to play properly. So I could share this with colleagues and friends, really easy to do. So that's the new Impact XT, a really, really nice update that Personas have done to the Impact instrument. We've got a lot of new features. 
And in addition to that, keep in mind that we also have that new sound set that's available, which is the Impact XT kits and sounds. And that is available for registered owners and users of Studio One version four. So we'll catch you for more in the next video.